Hello everyone, welcome back with Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time I got in a little interrupted and I had to go. It was okay. Uh, the video was longer enough. So, I wanna know what's going on here. Yeah, it's in the back. I ain't never gonna get the hang of this. Oh, yeah, it's in the back. Stop what? Stop picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh. Um, well, uh. There was someone behind the here. churchyard. I don't trust this. And stay close. Hmm? I don't trust All this. Right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh. Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh. This, it, it ain't exactly right what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> I really don't, don't like this. It might be an ambush. Okay, you head on Our in trap. the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Ugh. Oh, damn it. What? There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off? And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. Oh. Uh. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Okay, I was worrying about how I was like, no, I'm not leaving my husband or something. Whoa, who the hell it's ever is All right. in the graveyard. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... I don't trust him at all. Oh shit. Uh oh. Someone's coming in. Okay, it's uh good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. Ugh, I don't like this. Oh no. Sure would. Uh huh. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, 
damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preach? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. Uh, Come on. Fuck off. Uh, let's go, mister. Fuck off. Wasting Bitch. Uh, shit. Hope this hole's dug. Let me loot this asshole first. I don't know if the, like, punching will get them killed or just knock them out. I'm not sure. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Gwen? Uh, That's her name? Do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. <sighs> that scared me. Can't believe it's come to this. Get out, yes. Where is the... Oh. Lenny. Oh, well, I'm going to the... Uh, this guy over here, See, he seems closer. Where's my damn horse? There it is. There it is. Looking Hold on, I'm selling. Buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town. Seems I buy this near every day. What can I buy? Do. Hi there, folks. Haven't you brought enough misery upon us? Hey, friend. Morning, partner. Should I upgrade my gun? Hold on. Just a sec. You cooled your heels? Kind of surprised it's still here, though. Let's have a look in here. I think I should buy rifle ammo. No, I want rifle ammo. Uh, you're going to buy something, right? I already bought a lot of stuff, you idiot. Oh, Bo. Wait, I want to upgrade my own revolver, damn it. Oh, I'm real excited to try this. Customize. You wrap that thing in coal and mud? A dirty gun will never fire right. I can put some sights on that if you're interested. It's upgraded. Upgraded. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. Okay, maybe I should upload something. Uh, upgrade, sorry. Upgrade something else. I'm quite skilled in customization. 
Make your munitions yours. You know, there's lots I could do to get that weapon just to your specifications. Let me know. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. That'll okay. help, I'm sure. Oh, I got a trophy. Locked and loaded. That's cool. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Interested in a stock? Could put some carvings on it, too. Scope. Yeah, I really should upgrade the scope. You'll notice the difference. Can I upgrade the bow? Where's the bow? Good to see. You've got a fine weapon, and I can make it even finer if you're interested. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Double barreled shotgun. Okay, let's upgrade it. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. The weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. That's a wise investment. No, I'm not changing styles or anything. Make that weapon your own. Wait, which which weapon is this? I can't remember. I'm quite skilled in customization. Make your munitions yours. You know, there's lots I could do to get that rolling weapon just your specifications. Let me wait, know. Wait. Carbon something. I'm quite skilled in customization. Make your munitions yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. Shut the hell up for once. You'll appreciate the improvement. You'll notice the difference. Long Custer rifle. Okay. Okay, let's see what's the deal. Hold on. What? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. What do you want? I don't want any trouble. Just passing through. You look like you might need a few smacks to set you straight. Yo, you be smart and keep being dumb. Yeah. Dumb ass. Holy shit, what was that? What the uh? You move and I will burst. The fuck do you want? Get the fuck away! Passing through don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. 
Uh, which you cannot use. Oh, okay. What the hell is wrong with these people? Those people. Wait, someone mentioned me that the those people are ridiculous or something. Are worthless now. What do you want? Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. You coming in or what? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm in. I'm in. Hoping you talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. What's the deal okay, here? Okay, girl. He's inside. Oh. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope, but it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. This is complicated. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. What do you want exactly? I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter. And this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Ugh. Well, so it's good. And good luck. I'm thinking when this is done, you can fill me in on the goings on around here. Oh, yes, sir. Assuredly. All right, then. Well, it's just, uh, I'm the curious kind. Oops. Oh. It's like kicked. I don't, I don't like hate it. It just kicked him for... We were reason. For no reason, I mean. Oh.
How far there is this place, this place that he's talking about? Okay, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Should I go... Should I leave the horse? Holy shit. Where am I going exactly? She's here in the river. I kinda wanna go down for the horse so I can go. But I'm more afraid that they spotted me. I have to get in the horse ASAP. Sure, there was a guard there. No! God damn it! I was almost there. I was almost there. So I better need to go down through uh, from the horse. Yeah. I was BS. I swim through, but I don't think so. And the idiot told me to don't kill anyone, so... Yeah, maybe I can swim through there. Oh, there's not not a crocodile or anything that's gonna eat me. Penelope Braithwaite. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from uh... from Bo. <gasps> Bo. 
He is strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages. Or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But Wait. if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him. But what if they saw me right now? Snob. Families are, are... There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No. Nope. Not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I'm surprised that the letter is now wet because... Leave the area without being seen. Isn't that amazing? Okay, why the whole map is red? Please. Why the whole map is red? I don't know where they are. The horse doesn't spot me. Oh shit, how? I don't think I can cancel. Oh shit. I'm surprised nobody saw the horse. Give letter to who now? left to my business. Calm down. Talking to me, good sir. Yeah. Oh god, where's that train? Yeah. Uh. Thank god for the warning.
And I bet they're gonna say like Dutch Dutch asked, don't use weapons around here. You blah, know blah, me, blah. I'm on official business for the family. Alright, come on. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Mister? Hey there. Wait, that's not him. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. I can't be bothered. Here, take it. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. We'll bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. What? Come on. We gotta get going. Oh, th this was a mission? Seriously? I thought I was just gonna give him the letter and that's it. A boy. If he wants to rally, he got to let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Who? Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Holy hell. Miss <laughs> Calhoun. Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the uh, What am I putting myself into? I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook <laughs> the food and we pass now, the now. water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Morgan. Morgan. 
Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan. Oh my god, they're running. I'll just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to She's it. She's gonna punch him. <laughs> well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Hey, you. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. Um. Give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies? Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Wow. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent on biology, What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. I thought, yourself some I thought she said stop for ruining this bitch. <laughs> you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, where will we just leave him? Who the hell is this? Follow me, run. What? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. They're following me. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Yeah, smart. But can you please hurry up? You don't wanna go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before. Kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all the time. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know. And oh shit! I, I ain't heard about daughters. This is why I hate looking at my uh, my back. Now I was saying something. Oh yeah. I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. I don't know. I was afraid about going this down to the horse. I was like, nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes, 
Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Oh, if they follow me and they want to kill me right now. Wait, what? Is oh. Who is that? Who the F is that? Abigail? Oh, yeah, it's Abigail. Okay, my girl. Yep. Okay, let's see what Abigail need. Holy shit, I thought it was high enough. I mean, I didn't think it was high enough. I think it was pretty high. <laughs> huh. I want to hunt one, but... I bet it's not legal. God damn it. All that for a goddamn animal. God damn it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta take down the witness. No. <laughs> Fuck off. God damn it! Stop shooting me! You brought this to yourself, bitch. You brought this to yourself. You brought this to yourself. Come here. Let me loot you up real quick. Where are you? You brought this to yourself. If you. If you haven't just kept your mouth shut, I would have shot you at all or grabbed you. Give me your money, bitch. Good. Come on. Well, it makes me an idiot if I let him go. God damn that animal. He just went right next to the people who own the thingy. Oh, well. <sighs> well, there's some actions before the video ends, but oh, I'm kind of mad that I got minus now. For being a bad person. Wait, does someone have the money mission thing? Yeah, there's... 
one on the top left. What is this? Huh. But I guess I'll go to Abigail right now. Nice. There's a deer here, I think. Stop, 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 stop. What? Uh, who's swimming? Won't take long. Who the hell is swimming? Who the hell is that? On me, seriously. Who just called me? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Are you serious? I'm not underwater! Come on! Arthur, you need to get more stamina, dude. Wait, two two horses are running towards me right now. Wait, what? Who is that? That's Javier, I think. Wait, why well, can't I look at him? Is that Sean? Yeah. Hey, Arthur. Not now, not now. Let me just donate. Okay, I gotta see Telly. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Can you wait a sec? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. Hey there. <laughs> you and the boy got everything you need? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. All right, well, you let me know. Okay. Maybe she was supposed to say something, but there was a glitch, you know. Hello, Arthur. You heard about the coach job? Yeah, another run with the Cornwall Army. Yeah. 
got heavy, but you know, we came out of it with some money. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Whatever you say. Okay, maybe I'll fishing with Javier in the next episode, then I'll go to the mission. Yeah. Hi, Arthur. Is that... That's Molly. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Give to the poor. Arthur. Go away, Uncle. Last time you got a, almost got us killed. Finish what? What? Um. Okay. Let's. I'm not gonna sound like an idiot, but I think I'm gonna give them the gold. F it, why not? Okay. I'm miserable, don't you? Miss O'Shea. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. Stop. Or needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. Holy You're shit. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. I think that was Molly. Let's give them as much, much stuff as they want. Holy shit. I think that was either Bill or my uncle. What is this now? I don't know what I'm buying exactly, but I think I'm gonna buy everything I can. Who's drunk? Money, or I'm just I'm out of donates. Well, he's a wanderer. He's 
probably did. Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. <laughs> What did Cain do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Hello, boy. You okay, boy? I'm trying to pet the goddamn dog, but everyone is pushing me around. Where is he now? Ugh. They don't want me to pet the dog! That was... Go away. Go away. Go away. I really hate him right now. Anyway, but this is the end of the video. <laughs> I'm completely poor right now. Oh well, I just did a lot of stuff with the money, though. The weapons, the camp and stuff. So I guess I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.